warmed up, Mr. Moore? I feel warmed up. <laughs> Good morning, Jean Moore. It's a it's blessed day. It's a blessed day. It's it's a blessed. Blessed. Oh, look at this hair. It's a blessed day. Ernesto, you're wearing good colors. Those are Oh, uh, this is a baby blue, powder blue. Uh -huh. You know, I have to wear a shirt under. Can you see the shirt under? Is it a t-shirt? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love to wear it. But you can see it under? No, I'm trying I, not to have to see the thing. You well, know, I'm the, driving. The trick, <laughs> the trick is when you wear a light color like this, don't wear a white t-shirt, Gene. Don't wear a white t-shirt. What, what you, you're mean? supposed to wear a gray t-shirt because gray. I don't know. Something, something happens. It blends in better. Oh, is and, that right? Mm -hmm. Is that 2018 fashion? Tips? No, I, I it might have been Queer Eye with the Straight Guy. I don't know. Oh, I love that show. I cry. But every I don't. Time. I, I've never seen the new episode. Oh, the new ones are good. They'll make you cry. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, it's hard for me to watch TV. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. Yeah. No, I like to wear white t-shirts underneath, but I always hear uh, Freddie Lockhart. Do you know him? No. He's a comedian. He used to give oh, me, yeah, yes, yes, I do. He used to give me a hard Look time about wearing a white t-shirt. He's like, that is so old man hey, what You know, when you see it, through, you should never see it through your shirt. I know, but I just don't but like... But you wear a v-neck. But I don't want to sweat. Well... I don't want my sweat. Well, no one see it. The whole point is you don't see it. I know. You're not I, supposed to see the t-shirt. I don't feel good exposing my neck. I feel naked. <laughs> naked and afraid. I was speaking of that. I was before we were uh, before you came to my house. Uh -huh. I was watching Naked and Afraid. Would you ever go on a show like that? Naked and Afraid. Yeah, I'll do it if I did some more sit-ups. No, there's this guy. The guy on there had like the most dimply cheeks. Oh, that would be my fear. Uh, I would not do that. Oh, you know, because they, they pixelate everything else out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, that's gross. Like, <laughs> you don't care. Oh, no, 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 no. What else is going on? Uh, oh, yeah. It was a year ago today that we Oh, were... we are. We. I'm a survivor. I'm going to get hard. Yeah, we uh, did. <laughs> uh, yeah, last year this time. It was, yeah, it was yesterday. It was, it was yesterday. yesterday. Yesterday was one year ago because people were posting stuff. Ophelia Buns is on. Say hello. Good morning, Ophelia. Good morning, Ophelia Buns. It's 6.38 a.m. on this uh, Thursday. On this throwback. Th oh, it's throwback Thursday. It is throwback It's throwback Thursday. Thursday. And one year ago, well, actually yesterday, but one year ago, um, Gene and I went to the anti-Trump rally. That's right. The we're, protest. We're good Americans. Because we're good Americans. And, um, and... They, they tear gassed us. They did tear gas. Or pepper spray. I don't know. What were they? It was tear gas. And remember, we were standing right in front of the Herberger Theater, and they said that we someone threw gas at the cops, but we didn't see anybody. But they kept it shooting It might have been us. something like that. I don't know. They kept shooting and gas. And well, they kept saying that they warned us to get out of there. Not once did anyone warn us. And that was that they dumbass might have, mayor. They might have whispered in our ears. Yeah, it was our mayor, that Greg Stanton. Oh, oh never, calling people out already. Oh, Half the gay community never. shut down with you. <laughs> I'll never forgive him. Never forgive him. Yeah, it, was, it was a police. Uh, oh, it was a decision of the police. He stood by the police and he gassed us. We're national icons. National <laughs> icons. International icons. International. That's why I'm wearing a gray shirt under a blue Thank shirt. You. Yeah. Oh, look, blue. we kind of have the same kind of palette. Look, we do. I'm wearing blue. Blue, so. blue. Oh, I was going to wear blue jeans. Oh, I like this whole denim on denim look. Look. Oh, Jean yeah. Moore, fashion icon. Well, we got Gene two, Moore. We have two icon. shows after the after work, so we got to run. Oh yeah. Oh, is this two costume changes? Two. Co no. You know what? I could do a costume change. Oh, I might do this at the House of Comedy, and yeah. then try to sneak my way into that other show. Yeah. That's what, what show are you doing? Uh, House of Comedy, and then the Plasma. And you then at the Plasma. Uh -huh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Are we announcing that? Yeah, we can. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was a secret. No. Is no. anyone gonna say like horrible things to me? Like, you know what happened the other day, Jane? What? Oh my God, I was at a little open mic. I'm not gonna say where, I'm not gonna say who, yeah. but um, there was some new comics there. And uh, you know, comedy is whatever. It's your art, you say whatever. But I'm in the room, I said hi to them. They realized I was there, right? Yeah, okay. Um, I did my set before pretty, uh, it was okay. They uh, they were, uh, uh, they laughed, right? So, uh, um, and then right after, one guy said, screams out, hey, Ernesto, you're a fag. Why? Oh, I said, oh, I said the F word so easily. I know. Uh, yeah, but he said that it was awful. Well, I'll tell you this, okay? And and, and then and then Gene Moore. Uh oh. And then so I was like, okay, where are we going with this, right? Hey, ha ha, right? And, you know, because I could be a part of your joke if it's gonna be funny. I'm waiting for it. I was like, yeah, okay, this is gonna yeah, be good then. Yeah, yeah. And then again, some guy started you. Next comic started using that same the F word. I know. It started over and over and over and over and over again. It's and, but there was no joke. I know. It started. It, it, if it was. 
I mean, say a joke at so least. So when we first started doing comedy, they used to say faggot all the time. No punchline. They tried to make the word faggot a punchline. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't funny, right? But it went away. But now these new comics... I was at a show last night. Two comics said faggot. Now, one of them was young, and I don't hold it against them. The other one, I have no idea why he said faggot. You know what I mean? Like, mm. why are you going to be... It's, it, it doesn't... Do, do I trip on it? No. Does it bother me? No. Was Cause, it hateful? Because I feel like mine wasn't hateful. No, it wasn't hateful. It's just, why it's are just they the saying it? It's tacky. Like, be... Yeah. You know what it means, though? Huh. When Once you say faggot, I know I can never book you because I don't trust you. Because, <laughs> yeah. No, you're sitting in the wrong place. Yeah, yeah. I'm like... You know, no. I don't know. It's like... Because you'll see... You'll hear gay comics say it all the time. And... Like Margaret Cho, so Margaret Cho would say it all the time, right? I say it, and I know I catch hell for saying it, but I mean, I don't. Know. You know why I try not saying it? Why? Because then I'll say it in my normal life, and I don't like to say that word. Uh, That's I just try. But yeah. I, I mean, your art is your art. I'm not gonna. Yeah, do it. whatever you say. I'm but not, I, I just don't want it to be hateful. Yeah, I'll say this. I'm not the word police. Whatever you say is what you say. Mm -hmm. I mean, that has nothing to do with me, right? Because um, it could. I, you know what? I, I when people do comedy and they say that type of thing, I'm thinking it's a setup. And right. it's gonna all of a sudden I'm gonna be surprised. I'm gonna yeah. laugh. It's gonna be a wonderful thing, right? right? You know, it's art. It's art where art like uh, uh, what, what is it? Art uh, uh, challenges and it puts 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 the yeah. situation back into your face, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, I yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't get it. I think if you just say anything, it has to be funny. And if it's not funny, why say it? Yeah. Like you're doing a performance. Oh, What's, choose your words. Even when someone's doing like like open mic uh, and it, it, it's not funny yet. But you kind of get where they're going. Okay, so then they're working on the joke. But if it's just saying the word. Yeah, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't. I'm nice. Again, I'm not offended. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just, I just don't get it. Like, it's dumb. It just means you're unbookable. Because what other words are you going to scream out? In randomly. A, randomly. And, then <laughs> cause pro and not be funny, Adam. And not be funny. If you're going to scream those words out, oh yeah, my God, that better be, it, this better be good. I know, I know. And people call me all the time asking for referrals. I'm trying to book a show. Do you know anybody? I'll never use those people. Oh, I mean, will you? boy. Whoa. Will you? Huh? Will you ever refer well, anybody? Well, they're cute. Says, <laughs> well, if they're... <laughs> How do they look? Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. If they're cute, then I will. Well, yeah, then you get like a, yeah, 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 yeah. like a hall pass. I know. You know who I work you know, with? You know, you won't get it over five. You know who I worked with that who? Brian Ritchie last night? He's oh, so I love him. Cute. He's yeah, so, he's so cute. Like, I want to put him in my pocket. I know. He's I know. Really I love cute. him. I know. He should be gay. He, he should, should be, gay. be gay. He would be a cute gay. Oh, he would be a cute gay. Have you ever seen him with his hat off? Yeah. You have? You know, I remember seeing him when he was, he had given away free tickets. To, he was giving away free tickets to his show when I went to see Jeff Garcia, I think. Yeah. And, uh, but I hadn't started the comedy at all. And he was, uh, he was at the improv giving out free tickets to oh, his show. So he, I'll tell you this. It's 6.45. Oh. You got to be there by 7. You got 15 minutes. 6.43, actually. 6.43. You, you got, uh, yeah, 15 minutes plus 2. What is that, 17? Okay, and so actually, I'm not the best with math. And it's 86 degrees, Ernesto. Oh, Isn't 86 that nice? degrees. Yeah. What? It's so luxurious. To Very luxurious. Luxurious. Here so we did survive. Let me go back. Oh. So we did survive Donald Trump gassing us. You know the funniest thing, though? Remember uh -huh. when the gas was going and there was so much confusion and the cops were telling us, run this way. And then they were telling us, run that way. And then they said, we're going to arrest you if you come over here. And we're like, well, where do we go? Remember yeah, that? I know. And then They're we're, moving us all over the place. And then remember that? So there was a black female and she had blacks for Trump. Oh, and I didn't we, notice it until later you, you pointed yeah, it out. And we walked her to her car so she wouldn't have trouble. Yeah, because oh, it was kind of chaotic. We could just let, let her be by herself. And everybody was yelling and fighting. It was crazy. That was a crazy night. But we survived it. Uh oh, oh. We survived. Ophelia's chiming in. Okay, uh -oh, uh, hold on, hold on. Got something uh -oh. to say. I, I said, she says, I hate when straight comedians tell gay jokes. I, why did I say it like that? I hate when straight comedians... Yeah, that's not how, uh, I hate when straight comedians tell gay jokes. I think they should tell gay jokes if they haven't taken... I think they should tell jokes... Wait, hold on. I think she forgot an end. Uh, I think they should tell a gay joke if they haven't taken one for the boys. Oh, <laughs> no, they shouldn't tell a gay joke if they haven't taken one for the boys. Exactly, boys. Thank so you. next time they tell a gay joke, this means we have one more person for a date. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we can help you. You can tell that joke after this. Yeah, after this. Don't talk about what you don't know. You know what um, I mean? Yeah. And when you, here's the thing. Here's what I know from life. After today, you're going to be offended. <laughs> and again, I'm not offended. 
don't come after me. I'm not in, in any way. I'm just saying. Who's gonna come after you? If you use the word, make it funny. But if you use the word a lot, it says to me that you're insecure. I don't know. Yeah, you're, 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 you're have insecure jokes. about your own sexuality. You're confused on whether you're straight or gay. It's 2018. Just come out for God's National Coming Out Day is in October. Mm-hmm. Let it be that. Yeah, day. let it be that. Day. Pick it. Put it yeah, on the yeah, calendar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But be funny if you're gonna say it. Like, don't. You know what I mean? Here's what's gonna happen though. They're gonna say it in front of the wrong gay comedian and it's lights out. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's lights out. Woo! Some people don't put up with that shit. No. So you know no. what I mean? I, yeah. I just don't get and you know, I don't get why it went away, but now it's coming back. Those new comics are doing it. I don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, I don't know any of like it when it, it comes out it's it's a surprise. Yeah, but I'm mean, when I first started doing comedy, it was every single show I would hear faggot, faggot, faggot. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And now I haven't heard it. And, but now it's coming back, and it's just a little... And you know what? One guy came up to me um, and said... He's like an older gentleman, right? Okay. Uh, I like how you say gentleman. 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 And, uh, and he said he grew up, and, and, and no one ever was around him. And he, and he told me honestly that, you know, when I was a kid, we would call people like you names and all this stuff. But yeah, he yeah. says, you're funny, and you're nice, and I like hanging out with you at these mics. Um, and uh, I, I just... I have a question on, he had a question on how to address a person who is trans, whether they were supposed to say he or she, or say, well, generally, uh, generally. It's a pronoun. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I just wait. If I, if that person calls himself she, it's she, if, uh, yeah, yeah. whatever, whatever. You say, you tell me. Yeah. Because, uh, um, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go to open Well, you mic. know what makes it confusing, too, is sometimes when I talk about you, I call you she. Yeah, but, but, but she don't know. She, uh, this, it's girl, this girl, this, this girl, this girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's how we talk internally. You know what I mean? It is confusing. The whole pronoun thing is confusing. I my it. mom, I, I was on the phone with my friend uh, Guadalupe, and uh, and he's like, I I've grown up with this guy, right? And uh, I was on the phone with him, and I was like, uh, uh, she gets, I get off the phone, and my mom's like, why didn't you call? Him, she. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why were you calling him her? Yeah, it is confusing. Oh, it is oh. yeah, My right. mom gets it now, though. Yeah. Well, your mom is nice. Why, oh, she's like, why did you call him girl? You know, I said, I said, that's not girl, that's girl. girl. It's with a you. Or about girl bye when you're mad. Bye, girl. It's funny because I taught my bye, boss bitch. these gay words and he says it sometimes and it cracks me up. Get into it. Get into it. Yes. Get into it. Again, we're not complaining. Are you complaining? No, we're not complaining. No, you know what my complaint is? Be funny. Yeah, just be funny if you're going to say it, for God's sake. But it's just weird how it's popping up again. Someone asked, um, what's that comedian? Um, Wilson. Greg Wilson? Yeah, yeah, I love the Greg Wilson. The Greg Wilson is the funniest guy. Someone, I remember someone asking him, what's the, what's, the rules of, what's the rules of comedy? How do you do comedy? He says, rule number one, be funny. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one time he told me, Gene, every, he's, I said, I was doing a new joke with him, and he's, and I said, do you think that's too gay? He said, bitch, every time you're on stage, you're gay. Be gay! Yes. Yeah, it's, Do it. It is what Perform. It is. I don't know. Yeah. There's so much more to life than wow. being gay. Wow. Look at that. Hey, I feel like I worked with this girl before. I feel like that's Chelsea Clinton. No, that's, that's I, is that my old, that is that? Look at her, is that her? Oh, oh I'm okay. driving. Was it, it was Chelsea <laughs> I almost hit the car. Oh, wait, I, we thought we knew someone. <laughs> it was going to be scandal right now. Girl. We survived the Trump tragedy, but we still get but hit. But we still get hit by a car. Oh, that's crazy. Aww. That's crazy. I love Rich. You know what? Ophelia Buns is Ophelia amazing. Buns is funny. She always just cracks me up. I can't tell that story. I was going to tell there's a funny story about how she saved me. <laughs> <laughs> it is a funny story. Do you get after right? Come- yeah, no, they had to bring up back old memories. Yeah, it You trouble. almost did it. It was almost worse than the Trump thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo! That's funny. But Ophelia Funds can throw a punch. She can. She, don't mess with Ophelia Oh, my Funds. God. <laughs> Woo! That's funny. Okay. Ophelia, we love you. Mm-hmm. We love you. What uh, else? What else is going on? What else Anything is going, going on? on? What's going on out there uh, in the interweb? How's your, how are your novella going? Oh, uh, you know, I haven't been able to see it for two days. Really? Because I've been running to work and then going to Zumba. And then I'm getting ready to teach a class. Um, and so I'm choreographing some stuff for it. You're going to teach a Zumba class? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be like kind of a uh, Zim, Zumba, jazzy, um, you, kind of a basics, uh, getting some fundamentals down. Can and then, you do Zumba for beginners? Yeah, oh, well, you do good. No, I need to know the steps. Is you there a the, video? Can I Zumba the video? Yeah, yeah. Like YouTube it uh-huh. and I can learn the steps? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Because I love it. When he goes like this and he goes, oh. Man. And you know what he's doing? He's cueing you. 
Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, so because I see him point. He's really way. good. Uh, he's he's really good. There's some guys that don't cue very well, but he, but his class is hard. We're talking about Luis Luis Collins. Yeah. Uh, look him up on. Um, I think that's his last name. Yeah. Um, looking out, look him up on uh, Facebook. But he teaches on 43rd Avenue and Thomas on. But what day did you go? I went Tuesday. Okay, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Ooh, his classes. It's not your mom's Zumba class. It's not. Well, mm, when we I almost killed Aisha Renee in it. Miss Aisha Renee almost yeah, got killed. She almost she got sure killed. Did. <laughs> she sure did. I like when you started doing the jumpy stuff, the kind of crossfitty stuff. Yeah. I I could I could hear you guys without hearing you guys. Like this bitch is starting. Yeah, I know. I could. She's oh, like, I love go it. ahead, go ahead. And I'm like, I can't. I can't. <laughs> that was fun. It was fun. So. All right. Uh. Okay. Oh. Uh. We have an. Oh. Yes. We have a sponsor. Oh, Big Pine Comedy Festival. See it. Check it out at bigpinecomedyfestival.com. September 19th and 22nd. You get to see your comics up close, personal, intimate. Personal. This girl's texting and driving. And driving. Oh, texting and driving. You no, know Oprah oh. says don't do it. Look at this. Look at her. Wait, didn't she do the Oprah challenge right there? Bam! That yeah. Nissan Sentra. Oh, oh, these children. Jesus. These children. Report her to Oprah immediately. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, oh, we miss you too, Ophelia. She does. Okay, good. That's good. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. 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 good, good, good. She wants to do the show with oh, us. Oh, she needs to. She needs to be our special guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got a, a beautiful, a beautiful set. We got a beautiful, green luxurious room. set. We got the green room. Green, green room sponsored by Big Pine Comedy Festival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and you know, it's like, I mean, it's. it's Ernesto, top notch. I'll give you five bucks if you yell out the window to stop texting. No, bitch. <laughs> because I, I value my life. <laughs> That's not happening. Because she looked tough. She did look she tough. Looked, she has dookie braids. It's crazy. Yeah, she yeah. looks like Janet Jackson, Poetic Justice. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how to drive a stick? Well, I can learn. Erna she is for real texting, though. Ernesto, She's doing emojis, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you got me in the morning. I hate laughing like that. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Uh, I la I la you know what? You make me laugh like uh, that big Ange. Remember that from... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Big Ann, rest in peace. Did she die? Did she die? Big Ann, she, she had died? cancer, didn't she? Oh, you gotta warn me about that. Oh, one. I'm sad. Oh, look, I just saw my face all weird with the. Uh, Can with we the confirm sun? it was Isadora Duncan that died? Yes, Isadora Duncan died from uh, was this from her scarf. Yeah, yeah, she was a dancer. 1927. And she, I think. her scarf got caught in the axe. How come I didn't know this? Why is it not a movie? And I love her. And I think she had an affair with uh, Rudolph Valentino. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Was he handsome? I don't get him. Why did everybody go crazy for well, him? He's handsome at the time, right? No, I don't know. Because I don't think George Clooney is handsome, but people love oh, him. Oh, no, he is not. No, I hey, no, Mario Lopez. Well, who's no. the hot one right? Mario Lopez. Mario Lopez is going to play me in my life story. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, the Gene Moore story on Lifetime. He's gonna, uh, yeah. Wilmer, Wilmer Valderrama is going to play me. Oh, that's a good one, Ernesto. I know. Who's the hottest guy in Hollywood right now? The hottest guy in Hollywood. I don't know. I would say Chris Pratt. Yeah, Chris Pratt is pretty hot. He's kind of dumb looking, but yeah, I like, like if he stopped working now, he'd be. Well, that's fat shaming, but you know. Oh, you can fat shame. He's kind of put together because of Hollywood. That's what I think. Is he say. really, really? That's what I think. But he used to be fat, and then he got skinny, right? Is that what it is? I don't, I don't know. know. He looks good though. He looks good to me. I don't know. I don't like. The, I don't, I don't have any like favorites right now. It's still like the same ones, like Mario Lopez, Ricky, Ricky Martin. I almost said it in Spanish. Ricky I Martin. I you were gonna say George Lopez. George <laughs> Lopez, hot. <laughs> oh, he's hot to some ladies. Uh, he is. You know, he's funny. Just... Well, the money make it real cute. Yeah, it will make you real cute. Money <laughs> will always make you cute. All right. Uh, I think. Uh, oh, we're, look, we're at our we're at our stopping point. Okay, we're gonna start getting weird uh, reception here. So uh, reception, like. Please you, have a good Thursday. Please have a good Thursday. And if uh, there's anything we learned from Trump, you will survive. You will survive. Yeah, we did survive because we I'm got through, a survivor. Ernesto, we got through that together. Remember how far we had to walk? And we had we couldn't even see. We had stuff in our eyes. Hey, you know what I like about that? What I remember so much? We were coughing and and huffing and puffing because we just got gas. But we were helping people. No, but what I liked the best was there was a little chihuahua that just ran by us like nothing. Oh, that's <laughs> I said, that is not even affecting that dog. Oh, I mean, that's hilarious. I didn't know that. That's funny. <laughs> it was so funny. I thought you were going to say that we were helping. Remember because we were helping them ladies, they were falling, no one was helping them? Uh, that was, was just awful. Remember we had to help that lady push her big butt over the barrier? 
remember? It was terrible. And then they, they had people were running into the street and the cars were going. We're oh. like, no, 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 no. It was crazy. Yeah, it was And awful. when Mario Lopez plays My Life Story, he's going to relive that scene. It's going to be horrific. It's going to be. We're going to add a little bit more music, though. Yeah. Dramatic. Yeah, Wilmer. Oh, my God. It's going to be a good story. <laughs> God, that's top billing right there. Right there. Right <laughs> okay. There. All, right. All right. We're going to. It's going to be great. All right. Again. Bye, everyone. And remember. Remember, if uh, today and tomorrow is not uh, is not guaranteed, so no, that's true. so that's at least true. one person tell them you love them, tell them you appreciate them. Mm -hmm. um, Unless you're ugly, don't don't love ugly people. Yeah, that's a joke. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, good. Oh. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> you were gonna go with it. <laughs> I was yes and yes, <laughs> yes and. and okay. Bye 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 bye.